the reason why people experience late or no marriage. Hallelujah. This is not so much of a teaching because I'm, I'm in a hurry to finish. I want to pray. Hallelujah. Honestly, I want to pray. We need to tear down walls because some of you have suffered things that the devil must repay back. A hundredfold, pressed down, shaken together. See, the Bible says if you catch a thief, he won't just say, sorry, I, I won't do it again. No, no. The Bible doesn't deal with thieves like that. It says if you catch a thief, who is a thief? Who is a thief? No, no, no. I didn't say who is the thief. Who is a thief generally? One who lays claim and steals what is not his own. There are many people that would have been enjoying the bliss of joy in their marriage and their family and the devil has taken a lot of things many of you have been helpless people think you are careless but tonight i tell you we will expose that devil god showed me this thing by now you should know when you hear me talking like this i've seen something hallelujah the reason why people experience late or no marriage before we talk about satan we want to address a few things the number one reason is unreasonable expectations. Everybody write. Unreasonable, ridiculous expectations. Hallelujah. Please look up. I found out that one of the reasons why a lot of people cannot get married is that their expectations are unrealistic. Hallelujah. Especially for ladies. When you ask certain ladies, ah, what kind of guy do you want to marry? They say, me, oh. The way I am like this. Even if that guy, he must be six feet three. Six feet 2.9 is not for me. He should be able to smile and be very nice. He should be able to speak Queen's English, not, not L-E-A. English that is just basic enough to pass to get um, what the, what's that <laughs> school living certificate the guy must be able to have a good sense of color combination he must be able to have this There's, I have no problem against your list the only question I have is when will he have these things before or during or if you wish after the marriage there's nothing wrong with having these wonderful expectations. My only question is when. Hallelujah. So all the brothers that have come, 58 over 60, F9. 59 over 60, F9. 40 over 60, F9. Hallelujah. Unreasonable expectations. There are many people, especially ladies, the, the way... The expectations you have carved out for yourself, the only person that fits that expectation is Jesus Christ. No mortal man can fit that expectation. Today you see somebody that looks nice tomorrow and say, mm -mm, I don't like the way the guy smiles. Why is he too loud? And I want somebody that is... Ah. One man said the best way to predict your future is to create it so that you don't disturb anybody. Create it by yourself. Hallelujah. Everybody say unreasonable expectation. Me, I've suffered in my life where I must marry a millionaire. I must marry a millionaire. There's no, you know when they are taking people for a job, they say you are a driver, you must have five years experience. Some of you, you must have five years experience with prosperity. You must know how to do this and that. He must have his duplex, so I'm not ready to manage inside one room that will be squeezing me. As you're laughing tonight, take it seriously because we have to solve. Some of us are the ones who open doors for delay in marriage. Financial status. Oh, he must be. No, no, no. I'm, he's still under unreasonable expectations. Financial status. Brother, where are you working? There's one primary school here. The primary school, me. I, I'm, I, your father has warned you. Your mother has warned you. They say, don't bring any teacher for us here. I was a teacher. Your mother was a teacher. Change. And now you are waiting. You are hoping. Oh, Shell. NMPC. 
Where again? Say it. Chevron. Uh huh. Sir? Mobile. Look at the lady smiling. CBN. Nigerian Printing and Minting Company. Dangote Group. And some of you are happy. Oh, this is the kind. I want somebody that when I stand by him, people will say, Kai, how did God locate you like this? Remember our song? I didn't know you will answer me this way. Listen, while that vision is good, let me tell you what the problem is. The problem is that with this kind of mindset, you will never be able to get married to the right person. You know why? Because oftentimes, God will tell you, go to your farm and harvest your crop. You will get to the farm and see a bag of seeds. Are you listening to me? With hoe on it and grace. These are the three things you will find there. But God told you, go and get a harvest. It is in God's nature to speak and call things as though they have already happened. So God will tell you a millionaire is coming to your life. And you just see a brother come. I say, brother, where are you going as a shoemaker? He say, ah, God, this does not look like the prophecy. Unreasonable expectation. Physical appearance. I want somebody who is this and that. I want somebody, guys, I want a lady with this and that. I want a lady with dimples. I want a lady with another dimple here. I want a lady with dimple here. I don't want a lady that opens her mouth too wide. What are you looking for? Hallelujah. I want a lady whose hair, you know this Indian film they used to act. I want a lady whose hair is here. Hallelujah. I want a lady who is this. I want a lady who is that. I want a lady who is a top chef who has been validated by everybody to be able to eat. I want a lady who can drive. I want a lady who is this. I want a lady who is that. Unreasonable expectation. Hallelujah. When I was growing up, there was one funny film they used to show. Very nice and pretty. What's the name? Another Life. Man, some of you don't know it. Don't claim you know it. Some of you, where were you then? <laughs> another Life. Hear the name, self. Who use that kind of name now? Media, the Another Life. They're using Second Chance and the rest. And I remember every time I saw some of the people, the, the actors and all of that, I used to look at them and say, ah, especially those who were wicked, they were not very good looking and it used to pain me in the soap opera. And then one poor village pretty lady is the one that will keep telling lies, oppressing and doing all of that. I hated soap operas because I said, ah, why is it that they find very nice ladies and all of that and as small as all, I had a dream and my dream was that one day, one of the person who was acting, that by God's grace, if I may, oh... <laughs> Bible says when I was a child. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everybody say unreasonable expectation. My simple message for you tonight is that it does not happen before relationship. You say, ah, but does that is what let me tell you something. Any success you did not invest in it, you are not qualified to partake. That's why there are some men that only married. There are some, come now, sweetheart, drop your Bible. There are some, there are some men who get married to a lady. They are married though. But this lady is like a stranger. You know why? The guy was already a multi-millionaire. And she's just one of the many things that happened to enter his life. Are you following me now? She has her room. The only thing he does is to sleep with her. That's all. And that's even when he wants. He's like the kings of old. So she's just roaming around like a nanny and a house girl. In that's, not, that's not a good home. Are you hearing me? 
Children say, Mommy, one banana. I say, mm, Go and ask your father. Me, ma, they brought me inside this house. Me, ma, I'm inside this house. No confidence. You know why? You were looking for something that could not be found. And since you found what looked like it, you have to pay the price there. But a brother that you were there with them, you so Gary together. You say, how much do you have now? Don't worry. See, I don't have anything but I'm speaking God's word. And you can see me. I'm showing you the blueprint of what I'm doing. Now you brought the Gary. We drank together. Do you think if we enter the... What car now? Say something realistic. Don't tell me limousine. Say something realistic, please. A good car. When we enter a good car, listen. Do you think... Listen. Do you think this lady will be carried away by my prosperity? Because we have been there. Are you listening? You grew into this thing together. Many of you don't want to grow into the blessings of marriage. Some of the wealthy people we know today, ask them. When they got married, the man didn't even have a bicycle. He didn't even have vision for some of them. Just one fellowship, they were strolling one day and God caught him. He got filled with the Holy Ghost. God started walking. But now, the woman is partaking of the blessings. Whether you like the madam or not, she owns the company with her husband. Because they suffered. And she can look at you and tell you, I remember those days. Don't celebrate success that does not have history. It's fake. Any success that does not have history is fake. I assure you, if you are laughing, hold on, stop laughing. Any true success must have history. It is the history that will preserve you in that realm of success. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Very important. Unreasonable expectations. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I set realistic standards. Refer to our message. Um, I think that's um, Family Life 2. We, we stated some very clear and reasonable standards. Bless you, sweetheart. Thank you. Hallelujah. What you want does not exist for many of you. So you must come down and believe. It's still part of this running away from responsibility. Many people don't want to build. Many ladies don't want to build. What if I build this thing and later he says I'm not the one? The Bible didn't say you will reap where you sow. It said you will reap what you sow. 